Hi, it's Chester Tuttle at Blue PKN Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at how to transfer or copy highlighted or colored cells to another sheet. Here's my sheet of transactions. And you'll see that some records have a red background and some records have red text. I've got two different VBA macros. One will transfer the cells with a red background and the other will transfer the cells with red font. I'm transferring the records to a sheet called Highlighted Transactions, which already has the column headings in place. I'll move back to All Transactions. So this solution is going to require a VBA macro. The easiest way of opening up the Visual Basic Editor is to use the shortcut Alt F11. And then what you really want to do is to split the screen I've got the Visual Basic Editor on the right and my Excel workbook on the left. Once you're in the Visual Basic Editor, you will need to create a module. And to do that, you go to Insert Module. That will create a module like I've got here. And if you double click on that, you'll get a code window where you can type your VBA. This pane here on the left is called the Project Explorer. And I'm going to close it down for now so you can see the rest of the code. But if you do need to reopen it, all you do is you go to View, Project Explorer to open it back up. OK, so I've written these sub-procedures for you, but I'm going to walk you through exactly how they work. The first thing I've done is declare four variables. The first is called Trans ID Field. And I've set Trans ID Field down here. And it refers to the range A2 down to the last consecutive value in the sheet, which I've called A Trans WS. Now, a trans WS is set up here, and it's the worksheet all transactions. Essentially, transaction ID field are these cells here. The next variable I've called trans ID cell, and that is going to be used within the for each next loop. The for each next loop will loop through each of these cells within the trans ID field. Essentially, on each iteration of the loop, trans ID cell will equal one of these cells in this column. The next variable is a trans WS, which I've already mentioned is set to the all transactions worksheet. And the last variable is h trans WS, which is set to the highlighted transactions worksheet. OK, those are the variables. Here's the for each next loop that does the work. For each cell in column A on the All Transactions worksheet, if the cell's background color is equal to red, I've defined red by its RGB value, 25500. I need to show you how to get those RGB values within Excel. For example, if I click on a cell with a red background, I'm going to use the shortcut key Control 1 and I'm going to go to the Fill tab. I'm then going to click on More Colors and go to Custom. And there you'll see your RGB values. So for whatever color you select, you'll get three different values. One for red, one for green, one for blue. And in VBA, you just express those values like I have done here in my code. OK, I'll cancel out of that. So if the cell background color is red, what I want to do is copy the whole of that row. I'm resizing trans ID cell to equal one row and 10 columns, essentially this whole record. Once I've copied the highlighted record, I need to paste it into the next available row in the highlighted transactions worksheet. At the moment, the next available row is row two, but obviously if I had a record already pasted into that row, the next available row would be row three. So how do I find which is the next available row? The way I've done it in this code is to start in cell A1 and use the offset property to offset by the number of rows in the worksheet. So if I find that out, is 1,048,576 minus one. Why minus one? Well, if I offset by 1,048,576, I'll end up in cell 1,048,577, which doesn't exist. 
That's just the way the offset property works. So actually I want to offset by 1,048,575, which would land me in this cell here, the last cell in that column. Then I'm using end Excel up, which is like doing control up arrow key on your keyboard, which finds the first cell that contains a value. If there was a value in A2, it would have landed there. But obviously I don't want to paste anything into that row. I want to paste something into the row below. So I've used offset one row, no columns, to land in the next available row. And then I repeat that if statement for the next transaction ID cell in the all transactions worksheet. The last thing that the code does is auto fit the records that have been pasted into the highlighted transactions worksheet. So let's see how this works. I'm going to click into the code and I'm going to press the run button and you'll see it pastes all of the transactions that have a red background into my highlighted transactions worksheet. You can also do the same thing for records that have a red font rather than a red background. And I've written a sub procedure for that. It's very, very similar. But the if statement doesn't test whether the background color is red, it tests whether the font color is red. The rest of the code is exactly the same. I'll run this code just so you can see it works. If I press play and then go to the highlighted transaction sheet, it's pasted those transactions with a red font below the transactions that had a red background. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully you found it useful. Please don't forget to subscribe. But for now, I'll say goodbye and I'll see you next video.